Hey everybody, welcome back to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and here on the YouTube channel. And today we're going to take a look in another channel strip plugin. We're going to look today at the Harrison, what is this called? The 32 Classic Channel Strip. This is a part of the Slate uh, Complete Package, Slate Digital. So if you have the Slate All Access or the Complete Package, not only do you get all of the, um, the Slate Digital stuff, but you get all the SSL native stuff along with the Harrison plugins because Harrison and SSL are now under the same roof. So that's what we're gonna listen to today. I just got it downloaded into my account. I really haven't played with it much. So we're gonna walk through and listen to it on a session here and just kind of check it out. And you can let me know what you think in the comments below. So make sure you like, share, subscribe. Also, if this is your first time here, go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. I wanna give you a free mixing course. It is right at the top of the homepage. It's a big orange button. You can't miss it. It says free training. Download that today. It's my gift to you just for visiting Home Recording Made Easy. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna give you something else for free. So here we are in Studio One. And here is our Harrison uh, 32 Classic Channel Strip. So now before we walk through it and listen to it here, um, I just wanna tell you about the session we're gonna be using today. We have a, a session here by the artist uh, James D. Cooler. The name of this song is Smile. If you wanna download the multi-tracks for this session so you can mix the song for yourself and be a part of a mixing contest, click the link in the description box below and check out the Mixing Masterclass Volume 2. So let's take a little listen here to James D. Cooler, Smile, little uh, verse in first chorus here, and then we'll jump into the Harrison 32 and check it out. This is with the Harrison 32 across all the channels and I quickly dialed it in just so you know but we'll bypass it on and off. Here's Smile by James D. Cooler. Make sure you check his links in the description box below. Here we go. Together we are so strong Okay, there is Smile by James D. Cooler. Again, check his links in the description box. Go download the multi-tracks for yourself. Check out the Mixing Masterclass. So let's get back here into Studio One. Let me loop this a little bit. So we're just getting in here where the drums kind of kick in. That's where we're gonna kind of start. Let's walk through this Harrison 32. So basically what I have is I have this on all of the channels using it as our console. The only other plugins I have are the auto align to do some phase correction and a couple of reverb plugins, that's it. So if you look down here in brown, we have all our drums. We have three kick tracks, kick in out and sample, snare top and bottom and a sample, hi-hats, two tom tracks, two overhead tra tracks, two overheads, two sets of room tracks, bass DI, bass amp, acoustic guitars left and right, we got some clean guitars here, left and right, a couple of crunch guitars and a couple of heavy guitars, a guitar solo, a lead vocal, lead vocal double, and some background vocals all coming down to a busing system. We have a little bit of reverb, which we'll talk about in another video, but we have the Harrison 32 across all of our tracks up to our buses. Okay, so before we walk through it, let's just listen to it before and after. Here's with it on all the tracks. And then what I'll do is I'll just bypass all the inserts for the Harrison 32 all at once. So you can just hear the before and after, and then we'll walk through the plugin and I'll give you my thoughts on what I think on the way it sounds. Here's with the Harrison 32. Together we are so strong In the morning light No matter how far where we go Cause I see your smile Okay, so that's with before and after. Pretty stark difference. So let's walk through this plug in here. It's a pretty simple channel strip. Again, I love channel strips. I'm a sucker for channel strips. I've done a bunch of plug in reviews on this channel for years now. Every channel strip that comes out, I seem to go ahead and, and get it and try it out because I love it. This is one of the only ones that I know of of the Harrison 32. The Harrison 32 is a legendary console back in the 70s and into the 80s, and now they have a channel strip of it. 
So let's walk through it. Top left-hand corner, we have the input. We have a drive circuit here to saturate the, the plug-in, which is really cool. A phase flip, and we can turn the drive on and off here. On the left-hand side, we have our gate section here. Okay, we have a gate here. We can use it as a gate or, or as an expander. Okay, and the center section, we have our compressor. And we have really three different types of modes here. We have the level mode here, which according to their manual is more kind of an LA-2A style kind of opto compressor here. And when we when we click on the level, you'll see the ratio goes from one, from one to one to three to one. When we go to the compressor mode, comp mode in the center, you'll see the ratio goes from one to one ratio to 10 to one. And this they say is more of the natural compression setting. It's more like a VCA style compressor. And then we have the limiter. Again, the limiter, you'll see that it starts at 11 to one and goes all the way up to 110 to one. A limiter is gonna be more of like a overly compressed, really good for things like parallel compression. We also have, we and we have full control over the tack and release on this. Um, we have uh, a makeup gain here, and then we have this emphasis, which will help you can dial in the frequencies to where you want the compressor to emphasize more, okay, which is cool. And that's on the middle section, and you can turn off the compressor here, you can turn off the gate here. Then we have the EQ section to the right. Again, we have our high frequencies that can be a bell or a shelf. And if you change the, the curve, you'll see the frequencies change a little bit. In bell, it goes from 900 hertz to 8.3K. If I hit the bell circuit, you'll see it goes from 900 hertz to 13K, okay? So it changes it a little bit, plus or minus 10 dB. And our highs, we have our mids, which are full, uh, uh, our, our mid here band as well, goes from 400 to 6K. Our low mid goes from 200 to 3.1K. And then our low frequencies go from 40 to 600. And once again, you can make that a bell or a shelf, and that will change the frequency response uh, or selector a little bit. Low pass, high pass filters. We could turn the EQ on and off here. We could turn the EQ on and off here. And we have our high and low pass filters here. Along the bottom, we have the, uh, the way the signal flows to the plug-in, and we can rearrange this. So right now it goes from the gate to the compressor to the EQ. But let's say you wanted to EQ before compression. You can just left click the EQ and you can drag it, and now it's EQ before compression. Or you can drag it back, right? Pretty cool. If we go across the top here, you'll see this thing that says studio. And when we click on this, this will, if you just hold down your mouse, this will temporarily bypass the plugin. So if you want to do kind of a before and after, you don't need to click it, bypass it, and then unclick, click it again to, to activate it. You can just hold it like a momentary switch. Okay. Our little cogwheel here allows us to resize the plugin, smaller, larger fit the screen, documentation, that kind of thing. You can also resize the plugin by the bottom right hand corner. Pretty standard today with most plugins. That's it. It's pretty straightforward like any channel strip. Okay, so I got this across all the tracks here. So let's just take a look at something like our, you know, like our kick sample. We sold this up here and open up the Harrison 32. I'm just doing some basic EQ, basic compression. Here's our kick sample. So you see, I'm just compressing about 3 dB here. I'm using um, the compression mode, the more the comp mode, the more VCA kind of style here. Um, I don't think we're using the gate on this one. We're using the gate on the inside mic, which I'll show you in a second. And then we're doing some basic EQ. 58 hertz, we're adding about 2 dB. Um, and I think that's about it on this. So just, just bypassing this and I'll, I'll uh, demonstrate what the drive does so you can hear it. So you can get really crunchy if you want, or you can make it really subtle. I used it subtle in most cases, except for like bass, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, and that's it. So if I go before, if I just bought momentary bypass this, this is what we're doing to our kick track. It just seems like it just sounds nice and clean and transparent. I don't find 
this particular channel strip really colored it all. Um, it's more of a clean, transparent kind of a sound, which is re really cool. You can get some of the color and the harmonics from the drive circuit here. So that's what I did on a kick. Uh, when we come over to like our snare here, we have a snare. You know, so again, some nice compression <clears throat> using the level setting this time, which is more of a, like an LA-2A style. Um, you know, slow attack, fast, uh, slow attack, uh, fast release. And a little bit of EQ here, about five, a uh, little bit of 5K on this one and quite a bit at 100 hertz to really bring out the body of the snare. And I used it in the bell feature. And again, if I just bypass this, Sounds really good. You know, I, I mean, it's just a basic channel strip. It sounds okay. I mean, it it's, sounds okay. Um, let's see, let's give me, uh, let's go down to our, and I did this again across all of the drums here. So just doing basic EQ, basic compression, not a lot of compression, but if I play back just the drum bus here, and then we just bypass the inserts for the Harrison on the drums, you can get a you know, kind of an accumulative effect of what it sounds like on drums. So here's with it, and then just keep your eye on the power button and I'll take it away. So it just adds a lot more bottom end. There's a lot of low end going on in the kick drum there. Um, and it just, again, it just sounds to me pretty clean, not a ton of color, but just nice and thick, transparent, and just sounds better. It just sounds good. It just sounds good. A um, lot more, a little bit more open, a little bit more transparent than something like an SSL, for example, at least in my opinion. And on most of these channels, I'm not really using the drive circuit, only just a little bit. It's a little bit of drive on all of it. Okay. That's our drums. If we come down to our bass here, solo up our bass. We have a bass DI and we have a bass amp track. So on the DI track here, let's see. A little bit more drive. I do like the drive and I do like the compressor on this really does a nice job. It doesn't feel over compressed. It just tightens everything up. Sounds really good. So that's our base DI. If we go to our base amp, turn this back a little bit. Again, the accumulative effect of that would be this. Not bad, right? Pretty cool. Let's go down to like, um, we got our two heavy guitars. Let's go to our chorus section where we kind of kick in all the guitars here. Give you a listen to what that sounds like. So we have um, a set of clean guitars. We'll, we'll skip over those for now. Um, we have a set of crunch guitars and a set of pair of heavy guitars, a little bit more heavy driven, heavily dri driven. So if I just solo up our guitars here, whoops.
So again, using a little bit of the drive, using a tiny bit of compression. And a little bit of top end EQ at about 5K, a little less than 5K on these guitars, and that's really it. And again, it enhances it and cleans it up quite nicely. And then uh, lastly, let's take a listen to maybe the vocals, right? So we can hear it. Let me uh, bypass uh, all this stuff here. Unmute all of that or unsolo all of that. So here is, here's our lead vocal. Solo it up. A smile in this little frame. But the sun won't shine on me until we meet again. So we're doing about almost 8 dB of compression there. Again, doesn't sound squished or over compressed. We're using it on more of the, on the comp mode, more of that VCA style. Uh, here we're doing a little bit of a low cut filter. We're adding a lot here at, um, at 10K. We're adding about 8 dB. Um, and we're adding about three and a half dB at about a hundred Hertz to bring a little bit more of the chest out. The other thing I like about this EQ, and we have it in a shelf mode on that big boost at 10K, it doesn't get very shrilly. One of the things I like about channel strips and analog in general and analog emulations is when you boost top end, um, it tends to be a little bit more smooth and it's not shrilly like some maybe standard stock kind of plugins that come with DAWs. So again, I'll just bypass the EQ here. A smile in this little frame, but the sun won't shine on me until we meet again. I really love this momentary bypass. I wish every plugin did that. To me, you don't think it's a big deal, but just from having to click on the left hand corner and then double click it again, the bypass, unbypass, it's so much nicer just to be able to just, just let your mouse go. I kind of, I like that. It's a nice feature. Every plugin company should do that. That's a, that's a, that's a nice feature. So that's on vocals. So, I mean, again, overall, is it, is it, is it some amazing channel strips? Like, wow, it's going to be a game changer. No, not, of course not. Does it sound like a real Harrison console? I have no idea. I've never heard one. Does it sound good? I think it sounds good. I think it sounds clean and transparent. It's simple to use. You can dial in something that sounds good pretty quickly. It doesn't have a lot of extra bells and whistles to make the plugin complex or confusing, but there's a couple of things here that make it cool. Like on this lead vocal, I use the emphasis to make sure we're clamping a little bit more down on that 100 hertz that I boosted just to keep it team. I like the three modes of compression. I like the fact that there's a gate. Let's do the gate real quick and then we'll end this video because we didn't do that. Like I said, we were gonna do that. So here's like our kick in. So there's the gate, and the gate works pretty well. One of the things about a lot of different channel strip plugins, um, I'm not, I've never been a big, uh, huge fan of using gate plugins because most of them are very difficult to dial in, at least for me. They never quite sound right. Um, the only, there's only a couple out there that I think are really good. One is the Slate Digital in the VMR, the Classic Gate in the Drum Gate. That's a really good one, and then the Sonics. Uh, Oxford drum gate, I think is great. Both of those, uh, the, the Sonic is quite a bit more expensive. If you have the Slate complete package, not only do you get this plugin with a cool gate on the channel strip, but you also get the Slate gate. But I say all that to tell you, out of all the channel strips I have that have gates, this one was the easiest one for me to dial in and I think sounds the most natural. And all my SSL channel strips, my Neves, my APIs that have gates, they never quite sound right. And every time I fiddle with it, I find myself getting frustrated and going the hell with it. I'm just gonna use the Slate gate or the Sonic. This was easy to dial in. It sounds, I like the way it doesn't just choke it off. It, it lets it resonate or sustain a little bit, which makes it sound more natural and it just pretty much eliminates all the bleeds. So the gate is a bonus on this one. It, it sounds really good. <clears throat> so that's the gate. So one last time, 
Let's uh, listen to a little bit of Smile here by James D. Cooler. I'll bypass all of the plugins, all of the Harrison 32s, and then we'll get out of here. Here we go. So there you go. So there's a look and a listen to the Harrison 32 Classic Channel Strip. Again, if you have the Slate Complete Package, I think it's they're calling it Complete Access or Complete, whatever it is, you're going to get this part of that bundle. If you didn't realize this is a new plugin as of, I think, about the beginning of July 2024. So if you already have the Slate SSL Package and you didn't realize, you can now download this for free as part of your accounts. Um, go check it out. Maybe we'll do some other Harrison plugin reviews. I've never really paid attention to any of their plugins before. So if you want me to take a look at some of their other plugins, let me know in the comments below. Also, once again, thank you so much to James D. Cooler for letting us do you smile as part of this demonstration. Check out James, links in the description box. And if you want to download these multi-tracks and mix the, uh, the song for yourself, make sure you check out the Mixing Masterclass Volume 2. All the links are in the description box below. Now, as I said at the beginning of the video, if you're sticking around this long, especially if you're new here, I want to give you something else for free. So I told you to go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com, get that free mixing course. Once you take that course, if you want to take one of my other full featured, full length training courses, and we have everything from EQ to compression, to mixing, to mastering, to recording, to parallel compression, everything from absolute beginner all the way up through advanced pro level, engineers and everything in between you want to take one of those courses i want to give you 25 percent discount coupon code use the code youtube 25 at checkout that will take 25 percent off any training course on the website so until the next video where we take a look at some more cool plugins i've been dave with home recording made easy.com thank you so much for watching me everybody i'll see you guys in the next video